Today we're learning how to multiply polynomials by monomials. Today we're learning how to multiply polynomials by monomials. Here are the five examples. Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solutions. Question number one. Multiply five times the quantity two x plus eight. In multiplying five and two x plus eight, we need to do distributive property. The first thing is to multiply five times two x. And the second, we need to multiply five times the second term eight. Five times two is 10 and we have the x. So 5 times 2x is 10x, plus 5 times 8 is 40. So the product of question number 1 is 10x plus 40. Question number 2. 3 times the quantity 2n squared plus 2n plus 3. Doing distributive property, we multiply first 3 by 2n squared, plus we multiply 3 times 2n, and we multiply 3 times 3. Simplifying this, 3 times 2 is 6, so we have 6n square. The second term, 3 times 2n is 6n. And the third term, 3 times 3 is 9. So the answer is 6n square plus 6n plus 9. Always try to arrange the answers in descending order. Question number 3. 3x times 8x squared minus x minus 4. So now we will distribute the monomial 3x. First, we multiply 3x and 8x squared. Next, we need to multiply 3x and negative x. So plus 3x times negative x. And third, we multiply 3x by negative 4. What do you think is the answer for 3x times 8x squared? We multiply 3 and 8, that's 24. We have x to the first power and x to the second power becomes x to the third because we need to add the exponents 1 and 2. Now we multiply 3x and negative x or negative 1x. We multiply 3 and the negative 1, that's minus 3. And x times x is x squared because that means the powers are 1 and 1. So adding them up, it is 2. And the third term, 3 times negative 4 is negative 12 and we have the variable x. So the answer for number 3 is 24x cubed minus 3x squared minus 12x. Question number 4, 5x squared times 2x plus 3y. First, we distribute 5x squared times 2x. And then we distribute 5x squared with a second term 3y. Simplifying this, 5 times 2 is 10. x squared times x to the first, that is x cubed, because we need to add the powers 2 and 1. Second, 5 times 3 is 15, and we have different variables x squared and y. So we will just write them x squared and y. That means it's multiplication. So the answer for number 4 is 10x cubed plus 15x squared y. Question number 5. 4a times the quantity 6a squared plus 6ab minus 6b squared. So we will distribute 4a to this trinomial. First, we multiply 4a and 6a squared. Next, we multiply 4a and 6ab. And third, we multiply 4a by negative 6b squared. 
Simplifying this, 4 times 6 is 24. a to the first and a square is a to the third by adding the exponents. Next term, 4 times 6, we have 24. We have a to the first and a to the first, that's a to the second when you add the powers. We also have b to the first, so we will write down b next to the a square. Third term, we multiply 4 and negative 6, that's negative 24, so we will write down minus 24. Now the variables a and b square, they are different variables, so all we need to do is copy them, so we have a, b, square. We don't have any like terms, so the answer for question number 5 is 24a cubed plus 24a square b minus 24ab square. Now it's your turn to solve this three problem quiz. Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solutions. Question one, seven times three x squared plus eight x minus six. To solve this problem, we need to distribute 7 times 3x squared. 7 times 3 is 21, and we have the variable x squared. Next, we multiply 7 times 8x. 7 times 8 is 56, and we have the variable x. And finally, 7 times negative 6 is negative 42. So the answer for number 1 is 21x squared plus 56x minus 42. Question number 2. 3a to the 4th times 4a squared plus 6a minus 8. First step is to multiply 3a to the 4th times 4a squared. 3 times 4 is 12. a to the 4th and a to the 2nd is a to the 6 because you need to add the powers 4 and 2. Now we multiply 3a to the 4th and 6a. 3 times 6 is 18. a to the 4th and a to the 1st is a to the 5 because we need to add the powers 4 and 1. And finally, 3a to the 4th times negative 8. 3 times negative 8 is negative 24 and we have the variable a to the 4th. So the answer for number 2 is 12a to the 6th plus 18a to the 5th, minus 24a to the 4th. Question number 3. 2x cubed y times 3x squared y squared, plus 8xy minus 6y. First, we multiply 2x cubed y by the first term. 2 times 3 is 6. For the variable x, we need to add the powers 3 and 2, that's 5. For the y, we have y to the first and y square, that's y to the third power. Now we multiply 2x cubed y with the second term. 2 times 8 is 16. We have x cubed and x to the first, that's x to the fourth by adding 3 and 1. We have y to the first and y to the first, adding the powers, we have y square. And finally, 2x cubed y multiplied by negative 6y. 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. We have the x cubed. We have y to the first and y to the first. So adding the powers, we have y to the second power. So these are the answers for the three quiz problems. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel at Celso Academy.